As a young girl, I watched over and over again the story of Cinderella and that she found Prince Charming, he found her, and they lived happily ever after. And that was ingrained in me as a young child. And I think that that's ingrained in a lot of girls as young girls, that we believe that we're going to grow up and we're going to find Prince Charming and we're going to be Cinderella and we're going to live happily ever after. We find out in real life that it doesn't just happen just like that that it takes a lot of work and understanding and, and prayer and wisdom. You're gonna have your faults, he's gonna have his faults, he's gonna have uh, his insecurities, you're gonna have your insecurities. And bringing those two things, those two people together to become one is absolutely a journey. There are gonna be problems, there are gonna be disappointments. There are going to be things you have to forgive, but it's not a reason to get off of the journey. There can be a happily ever after. And I wrote that title because I wanted to encourage women that not to give up on that dream. The main message that I want women to take away from this book is encouragement and hope. I wanted women to be informed so they could have success. I wrote this book from a place of, I've really done it wrong a lot myself, and I'm finding answers, and I want to share those with you. And probably some of my problems won't be somebody else's problems, but basically, we have the same problems. We all want to be loved. We all, we're all selfish by nature. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, that we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. And in this book, you will find the word of my testimony, of my victory, and the testimony of many other women. And when we hear those testimonies, that gives us power and encouragement to overcome. There are answers in this book that women need.